Hi friends, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Chillin' with Chino. Welcome to day two of my Tokyo Disney adventures. Disneyland was so much fun. On our tram ride back to the hotel, I fell in love with the Disney sea cat, Gelatoni. Isn't he so cute? Also, I had a nightcap at the hotel. Cherry Blossom Zima, anyone? If anyone is familiar with Disney bounding, Japan is hardcore. Since it was the beginning of spring, everyone was decked out in their bunny gear. Everywhere throughout the park, you would see masses of people dressed in white fluffy clothing and bunny ears.
The Mermaid Lagoon is absolutely breathtaking. It's like a mini amusement park within Disney Sea. You enter the Mermaid Lagoon and you are instantly in the palace of King Triton. The indoor suit creates the feeling of being underwater. Most of the rides in this area are geared towards younger children, so if you want to avoid kids, steer clear from here. But if you want to bring your young ones here, it's a safe and contained space that is filled with rides like Flounder's Flying Fish Coaster, Scuttle Scooters, King Triton's Concert, Blowfish Balloon Race, The Whirlpool, and Ariel's Playground. There's also shops here and a restaurant called Sebastian's Calypso Kitchen. Aquatopia was one of my favorite rides at Disney Sea. It's similar to Disneyland's Autopia, except you don't get to control your car. Everything is automated, but all the cars take a different path. Splish splash!
Thanks for checking out part two of my Disney adventures and stay tuned for part three. Please take care of yourselves, each other, be kind, and most importantly, be love. Bye!